Another question that was asked in the GATT economics paper of 2021 was consider a competitive market where demand and supply functions are given by that is this is the demand function is equal to 12 minus 2p and quantity supplied is 4p where p is the price and q is the quantity respectively the tax rate per unit of output that maximizes tax yield or revenue is given by we have to find the tax rate which maximizes the tax revenue first of all what will we do we will write these two very equations we have q is equal to 12 minus 2p this is our quantity uh, quantity demanded so first we find the inverse demand and supply function so to find the inverse demand function we will solve this for p so this will become 2p is equal to 12 minus q or p is equal to transposing this will become 6 minus q divided by 2 so this is our inverse demand function similarly we will find the inverse supply function so q is equal to 4p okay or we can write p is equal to q divided by 4 so this is our inverse supply function before the imposition of tax okay this is our supply function this is our uh, sorry this is supply function this is demand function now if that per unit tax is imposed our supply function would uh, will look like this let us say our uh, pt means the supply function after the imposition of tax would uh, look like this q divided by 4 plus t okay so okay i will write it as the subscript here not to be confused with power so this is our new supply function after the imposition of per unit tax now as we know in the equilibrium we equate demand and supply functions so in equilibrium you are at equilibrium at equilibrium quantity demanded that is quantity demanded should be equal to quantity supplied or demand should be equal to supply now we will equate the original demand function and new supply function after the imposition of per unit tax so i will write it here our demand function is this 6 minus q divided by 2 is equal to our uh, supply function is this q divided by 4 plus t okay now we will solve this for t here so just uh, transposing i can write it uh, like this q minus q divided by 2 minus q divided by 4 is equal to t or this becomes 6 minus now this is multiplying by 2 this 2 so this will become minus 2 q minus q this is minus 3 q divided by 4 is equal to t or 3 q divided by 4 is equal to 6 uh, so i have transposed this on this side so this will become 6 minus t or our q is equal to this q is equal to 6 minus t multiplied by this 4 by 3 and transposing and the, the numerator will become denominator and denominator will become numerator i hope i am making myself clear here so our q is equal to q is equal to this is a uh, three ones are three twos are six so four twos are eight we get here eight minus uh, four by three t four by three so this is our quantity we have solved uh, uh, this uh, very function this demand and supply for quantity okay now tax revenue would be simply tax revenue or i will write government revenue here uh, not to be confused with the total revenue so i will write government revenue is simply quantity times tax uh, this is our quantity after the imposition of tax so we multiply this equation with t so this will become 8 minus t by 3 and multiply it by t so this becomes 8 t minus t square divided by 3 so this is our go government revenue now our government uh, revenue would be maximum possible only when we uh, differentiate this 
vary function with respect to tax and set it equal to zero that means government revenue is maximum when we differentiate this function with respect to t that means dgr divided by dt is equal to now differentiating this will become t sorry this will become eight the derivative of t is one so this is eight minus the two becomes coefficient this become two t divided by three and set it equal to zero now solving this we will get uh, we will get uh, 2t divided by 3 is equal to 8 or t is equal to 8 into now in transposing uh, this fraction so this will become 3 divided by 2 so this is 2 1s are 2 4s are 8 or our t is equal to um, 12 okay that means the tax rate per unit the tax per unit of output should be equal to 12 so that the tax revenue or tax yield is maximized okay i hope i make myself clear in this video if there are any mistakes in solving this question i apologize for that thank you